Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel and to any new viewers, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. This is your May 2020 reading. All right, let's just get right to it. I will start with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck to get a general theme and then move into Tarot and then wrap it up with more oracles. I hope that you're well, Aquarius. And y'all are staying within your all's bodies and staying grounded and staying hydrated and getting rest. Remember all is well. Okay, so let's go. Spirit guys, what are the messages you want me to share with Aquarius for the month of May 2020? What are the energies surrounding Aquarius for the month of May? Okay, so your card is truth be told. All right, so I don't know if this is you speaking your truth or there's a truth that you need to accept. Let's see, bottom of the deck, wow. Well, flexible so whatever truth is coming in may you need to be flexible about it maybe it's about your perception of it maybe if you change your perception maybe you, if you just accept it as neither bad or good but just is that will assist you there is some kind of truth that you have to accept or face or speak even No, and that's an owl. So there's some kind of wisdom. There's some kind of wisdom to gain from this scenario. So stay flexible in May, my loves. All right, let's move into the oracle. Let's move into the tarot, sorry. So I'll start off with the sun and moon tarot deck for your main messages, okay? If there's anybody interested in me connecting for a reading for you for personal reading my details are in the description box below all right let's go and i'm very excited to announce my podcast tarot with simone the moon goddess it's now available on most platforms so go check it out and let me know what y'all think my candle is going very crazy over there I see spirit guys, what are the messages you want me to share with Aquarius for the month of May 2020? Thank you. Your first card, Aquarius, is a four of swords reversed. So I feel like y'all feel antsy. Y'all don't want to really stay still. The four of swords is a very chilled energy, very chilled. Pull back your ass to more or less meditate or to retreat from the world. With the four of swords reversed, you might be trying to avoid downtime or avoid slow a slow down. You want things to happen yesterday. Maybe the truth that you're going to hear in May, you don't want to sit with it. You kind of just want to avoid it. Maybe try to distract yourself in some way. Your second card is the Prince of Wands. So that's definitely some movement. Movement, passion. Not wanting to stay still. You have the Three of Cups reversed here. So maybe it's a truth about a friendship or a relationship. When I see the Three of Cups reversed, for me, it's like three is a crowd. Or maybe whether if you're in a romantic relationship, maybe there's a third party here. Um, maybe you think about somebody else. Within your friendships, it could be that there's somebody who doesn't truly support you as you deserve. I don't really like the Three of Cups reverse energy. Top of the deck is a strength card. All right, and it's right under your Four of Swords reversed. Notice the Four of Swords says truce on it. So that's interesting. So I don't know if in May you will want to fight. You're not happy about something. You might want to fight it. You're being asked. The strength card isn't about physical strength. This is about strength of strength of going with the flow having compassion staying vulnerable staying open not trying to fight situations or struggle or swim upstream bottom of the deck for you is the nine of cups right under your three of cups reversed so i feel like whatever truth is coming could be connected to maybe a friendship that's not really supporting you um, for some of you you might be in a relationship and there's a third party scenario happening here and i feel as if the truth will set you free. Literally, look at how light this person looks and happy. The Nine of Cups is, is true happiness. Happiness for self. Down the middle is the Seven of Wands. And on top of that, Seven of Wands was the Seven of Cups. 
the hermit was underneath. Seven of Wands right under your Prince of Wands. So there's a sense. On one side, there's swords. On one side, there's cups. Down the middle is fire. So y'all feel very passionate about whatever it is that's happened. Y'all's backs, it's, it's like you are putting out your defense. You feel a little bit, in May, you're going to feel a little bit rocky here. But you're being asked, remember, you're being asked to stay flexible. Tell me about this Four of, of Swords. I really should have started with the Three of Cups. Four of Swords is the Ten of Cups reversed. It goes back to your Nine of Cups energy, which is here. So the Ten of Cups reversed is very much about, this is a couple, a family, friends, whomever. But it's a happy scenario, a happy home, a happy relationship. When it's reversed, there's some kind of disharmony here. That's what you are wanting to like push past. You don't, maybe you don't even want to believe it. That what you thought was built on something so solid and was making you happy it was actually not true. And here you are, <laughs> potentially wanting to burn down the place. Tell me about this Three of Cups for Aquarius Spirit, guys. The King of Cups is here. King of Cups is here. Could be a, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. It's Three of Cups energy reversed. So I don't know if this is a, a water sign that you're dealing with romantically or a friend. That could be the one that's kind of playing, playing some kind of situation here. Here we go. Playing some kind of situation, juggling. I'm asking about the tent, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords reverse shows up. And she was at the bottom of the deck when I first started here. When I laid out your first six cards, the Queen of Swords was at the bottom. The Queen of Swords is reversed now. So it's like, I feel as if this Queen of Swords, this is you. Like y'all had a feeling, an inkling in. Like you had a feeling that something wasn't quite right here. And you weren't trusting your, your wisdom. You weren't trusting. It was like a message of learn from the past. And you didn't trust it. You didn't, you ignored something here. Maybe your emotions took over, dominated the situation. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Or even you were more interested in your personal happiness. You didn't want to see the truth. You just wanted to be happy. However, that worked. You got the four of wands here. Completion with your nine of cups. So when you take care of your own happiness, then you're able to call in energies that truly support you. That truly help you to navigate your life ahead, of, like forward. And not a sense of stagnation or a sense of taking you back or blocking you even. Tell me about the strength card here. For Aquarius. Why is the strength card here for Aquarius? Beautiful. The Ace of Cups. So it's in you surrendering. It's in you um keeping your heart open staying compassionate staying empathetic it's in you releasing it's, it's in you letting go and accepting that the healing can happen with your ace of cups here queen of wands yeah again here Tell me about the seven of, of wands. The six of wands reversed. Yeah, I feel as if you just need to let go. Yeah, be the emperor, bottom of the deck. You gotta like take control of this situation. I feel as if 
and not let it take control of you. As in, don't let your emotions dominate you. Is there a way for you to stay within your own truth without being pulled outside of yourself here? Tell me about the Prince of Wands. You got more, more of Wands again. Ten of Wands and the Three of Wands. That's you looking at how you were giving away yourself. How you were carrying somebody else's weight. You're ready to move far from that. You're ready to move forward from that. Oh my gosh, like the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Ready, you're ready. Ace of Cups, healing. You're ready, you got new fires. You see how you've been kind of more or less like giving away yourself. It's crazy to me how you have fire, all fire cards. Every single card down the middle is a fire card. You have cups and swords. There's fire here. And then water and swords. So water and swords on this side with Leo. Water and swords on this side with fire, which is, which is, um, this is Aries. No, this is Leo, actually. No, this is Aries. That's, visually, it's, it's blowing my mind. What's the word of advice for Aquarius in May? You got the Prince of Pentacles and the Moon. I feel like it's about you... Kind of staying under the radar. I feel like it's about you observing. It's about you staying grounded. It's about you more or less holding everything. Like not holding it to your chest. That's not what I mean. But I don't feel as if this is a month for you to shout or rave or create a scenario like i feel like this is for you to see the truth to stay flexible with it to not let it push push or pull you or pull you out of your own energies your own space and just see it for what it is it is what it is you know without judging it there's a slow down energy there's a sense of slowing down you kind of want to avoid it you just want to like get go, you know, it's almost as if you're trying to distract yourself from the truth, whatever your, this truth is, but you're being asked to sit with it. You're being asked to feel what you feel. Like your emotions are important. Feel what you feel. Like how can that energy flow? How can you take that energy and transmute it into something beautiful, creative or healing even? As opposed to letting it or as opposed to trying to avoid it, you know? How can you bring this full circle? How can you close off this? How can you turn this scenario into a win? What's the final outcome for Aquarius in May? Aquarius, the Ace of Pentacles. A new seed, a new plant. You have the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Wands showed up. And now you have the Ace of Pentacles as your final outcome. Wow. This is beautiful. A new seed. I'm covered in goosebumps. You have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So all of this, all of what this truth is, all of this, you being, you staying flexible, um, stay, sitting with what you feel, seeing a situation for what it is, is what's leading you to a new like new life, a new seed, a new opportunity. This could be new love for some of you. Maybe if this connection was connected to like a business or a business partner or a job, you found out that they weren't like doing the best for you or whatever. Like this reality, this truth that's coming forward is allowing you to start something new. And it's created a doorway, the wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor. The wheels of life. This is expansion, success. This is joy. And the high priestess is here. So it's like, see beyond what you think a scenario is or situation is. Okay, you got the six of cups here. See beyond 
the stories that you were telling yourself regarding this scenario? Is there any other message? The Ace of Pentacles. Wow, beautiful. And here's the Two of Swords again. Peace. So it's when you see the truth, when you face the truth, when you accept the truth, when you accept that it is what it is, when you open up your heart space and you take off the blindfold, is when you are able to start to plant a new seed, to, to sprout something new. That's beautiful. Aquarius, drop a comment below and let me know how this is resonating for you. That's, it's beautiful. This is beautiful energy. Truth be told and flexible. Let's pull some um, love cards. So you have codependency at the bottom of the deck. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Top of the deck is deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Aquarius. There it is. Whether this is somebody deceiving you as in going behind your back or somebody just not telling you how they truly feel, you not telling somebody how you truly feel, or people hiding behind a sense of bravado when in order to avoid being vulnerable. Like all of those are different ways of wearing false self masks, you know? Down the middle, pay attention to the red flags. Oh my gosh, the signs are cautioning you. Oh my God. Here it is. That's it again, like hiding true feelings, hiding behind hurt and pain, not being able to be vulnerable, not being able to be, to be open. That's well, your first card is this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I believe this is connected to your ace of pentacles and your two of swords. Maybe you are, you've met somebody new and you were kind of caught up behind who you're with or who, who is the truth is coming out about and this new energy. Maybe you felt as if you couldn't. You felt connected to who you, to the energy where the truth is coming out, right? And this new person is showing up and you're like, oh, maybe that's where the decision here is. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Aquarius, drop a comment and let me know if this is resonating. You have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right, all right. Um, remember, you've been asked to be flexible. So that's interesting. Is this somebody new? And you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I'm feeling like the cards that came out for you here are connected to new energies. And the cards at bottom of the deck, down the middle, and top of the deck is the current. Is that what it is, my loves? <laughs> Let me pull a Trust Your Vibes Oracle. Wow. <laughs> Aquarius, your card is Decide. How in the absolute world decide when you decide when you decide which which path to go in which direction spirit can then come and help you meet you halfway but you first have to decide which direction you're looking to go in remember you have this new seed being planted here it's a Pentacles so it's time to make a decision which direction are you gonna go in then your spirit guides, your spirit team can come and help you with the heavy lifting. But you first have to decide which direction. Bottom of the deck, it says play. Card number 11. So I feel you got to... Part of your healing is to enjoy life as well. 
right? Work hard, play harder. It's not personal, it's at the top of the deck. So don't take anything personal, stay flexible. The truth is the truth is the truth. Other people's behaviors and, and actions have nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with you. Don't take it personal. Ask your spirit helpers. Decide and then ask your spirit helpers to help you. They're waiting to, to connect. They won't get involved because of free will unless you ask. This is amazing. Can I have one money card for you for Aquarius Spirit Guides for the month of May? Thank you. The Aquarius. Oh, two cards. Your first one is I can make a career of living happily ever after. And your second card is I can pivot under and under any and all conditions. All right, 20 and 44. Wow, I'll read 44 first. So it says, a very good career choice would be to gravitate towards those activities and to embrace those desires that harmonize with your core intentions, which are freedom and growth and joy. Make a career of living a happy life rather than trying to find work that will produce enough income that you can do things with your money that will then make you happy. When feeling happy is of paramount importance to you and what you do for a living makes you happy, you have found the best of all combinations, right? So it's not about doing things for money anymore. It's about doing things that support your true intentions that you align with, that align with you. And that's how the money comes. And your second card is, I can pivot under any and all conditions. And it says, you have the ability to pivot under any and all conditions, but most of you are habitual in nature and your patterns are so well entrenched that at times the fastest path to the joy you seek is for you to take your pivot as you sleep. By reaching for good feeling thoughts before you go to sleep, and then experiencing the benefit of the quiet mind that occurs while you sleep. And then upon waken, awakening, immediately turn into good feeling thoughts. You can accomplish the ultimate pivoting experience. So try it and see how that works for you, um, Aquarius. Interesting. Moon card. And then I'll wrap it up with an animal spirit card. have two Aries Aries cards take time to breathe out disseminating moon bottom of the deck for your career so this four swords reversed truce take time to breathe right now it's reversed you kind of just want to like I don't want to deal with this like go away like let me just do this and do that and do that and, and try to distract myself no take time to breathe out top of the deck is what do you need to release Winning moon. Wow. Down the middle is confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. All right. So the cards. First card out. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Time to make a decision. When you decide, that's the action that you're taking. Making a, a choice. Deciding. Looking at things differently. Pivoting. Allowing this new energy to flow in. Your second card is surrender to the divine full moon. And your third card is a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So you have new moon, full moon, full moon. And Aries is all about the I am. So what do you need? What do you need, Sat um, Aquarius? Sorry, I call you Sagittarius. What do you need, Aquarius? Something's coming in May, though. A fiery climax approaches. So you're all about to get some truth 
or about to speak some truth. Spirit, guys, can I have a final message for Aquarius? And I have one card for Aquarius from May 2020. Thank you. Beautiful. Your card, Aquarius, is Peacock Spirit. Let it shine. Like the star that you are. Let it shine. No more hiding, no more, no more um, avoiding. It's all about aligning. And that's a heart, that's, you see the heart, you see in the middle, that's that light coming from the, from the heart space. Remember I've been telling you like, take off the blindfold and open up your heart chakra, open up your heart space. And bottom of the deck, it says, time to collaborate, Aunt Spirit. So you can connect to others, but make sure that they're supporting you just as much as you're supporting them. Trust in Divine Detours, Coyote Spirit. Divine Detours. I'm getting new energy coming in here for y'all. And down the middle is Brown Bear Spirit. Take time out. I'm telling y'all. Don't try to avoid this Four of Swords energy. So Aquarius, that is your message from me. Let me know if these messages have resonated. Drop a comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell so you know that I've posted. Um, much love to you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for your love and support. And until next video, my loves, bye.